No, that is not, that is, this is an office supply. Yes. Actually, this is not high quality sound equipment. Non-classical singing. Right. What is that? Okay, this is a really general statement because there are lots and lots and lots of divisions of music. But in a really, really broad sense, there's classical and there's non-classical or popular. As far as a singer is concerned, pretty much any style that you would sing into a microphone would be considered non-classical. What normal, regular people would refer to as opera, that's classical. If you're a classical singer, you would know that opera is a really specific style of classical singing. Um, but for general talking purposes, it's sort of opera and everything else. Where does classic rock fit? Oh, well, classic rock is definitely classical music. You think Puccini, you think Verdi, you think Mozart, you think Bob Seger. You know, all those people together. I'm glad you have a subtitle because without it, I might think that this was a book with some financial tips about, about stocks to invest in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Me writing about financial advice. Ha! So the subtitle, which has bad grammar, I realize it has bad grammar. Money notes how to sing high, loud, healthy, and forever. Should be loudly, but that sounded dumb. If you're a singer, you probably know what money notes are, but your money notes are the, it's the note that makes the audience go, wow. It's the, that ending note that makes people go, wow, he can do that and I can't. Or if you're an opera singer, it's the end of the aria when you're just about to kill yourself. Did you write this book for someone who wants to learn to sing from a book? It's mostly for the, someone who wants to learn to sing. You know, voice lessons are a big commitment and they're expensive and it's really helpful to have a voice teacher, but not a lot of voice teachers teach popular method and, you know, it's expensive. And my book costs as much as one voice lesson or a half a voice lesson. It just isn't very expensive. And if somebody really wants to do it, they can, and I believe in those people. So I have stuff on the website, like I have, um, you know, the piano parts, so that you don't have to have perfect pitch or know how to play piano. You can go to the website and do the exercises with the MP3s, and then there's videos that show you the right way to, to execute them. And so once you learn the exercises, and you can learn them from the combination of the book and the website, you'll start to really notice a difference. I mean, this method's really organic. So it's not like you have to say, oh, now, now I have to apply this from exercise number three. You don't do that. You do your little exercises, and then you sing, and you start to feel things change. And then all of a sudden, a, a note that felt high before just pops out of your mouth and it's a great feeling but that's how that changing your motor cortex thing works